Okay, here I go with a uh, part two of trying to do the uh, Matrix 4 Resurrections in Unity. I'm redoing this scene right here. That's how you can see up behind there. Um, right now, I'll just show you what I'm working on. I'm actually doing this in uh, HLSL, so it's high, high language shader language. I don't know what that means. Anyways, um, you've got uh, two ways to interface with the uh, graphics card. Um, inside uh, Unity, one's through GLSL and the other one's uh, HLSL. And you can also do it through the traditional just vectors and plotting points and throwing cubes and shit like that on. But this is a, uh, a way to do textures that, that makes it uh, a lot faster. So the texture that I've got right now, this one right here, is a uh, just a, a flat two-dimensional thing that I'm rotating, that I'm just moving on the axis. And what I just did was I created a uh, HLSL um, that allows me to do, if I get to it, make sure I'm in the right window here, this. Now, this is a, um, like I said, it's an HLSL, HLSL shader function. And I've got it so where I can scale it so I can actually change the functionality. And it's over there on that wall, too. So I could actually make it bigger, smaller, Wee. smaller, but that's my little test cube right there. Now, I've got a couple problems. If you look down here, you can see that a, a number remains fixed, or a letter remains fixed as it's floating down. That's pretty much how it works inside that uh, the Matrix 4 Resurrections video, and also what I've seen in uh, other things, too. So once it uh, once a number's hit, it doesn't rotate. And if you look at this, it doesn't quite do the same. The number changes. And this is pre-can. Somebody else actually had done the work for me, and I imported it as a GLSL shader, GLSL shader, and I ended up importing it and converting it over. And um, it it just has this problem of a character gets written once and only once and it end up, ends up changing from there so that's not the effect I look, I'm looking for. At distance it looks pretty good um, and it's doing a couple things that uh, I don't like it to do um, but that's one big one. Now the other thing I've also done with this GLSL shader is I've also hooked it in to make it so where I can actually set the speed so it can be real slow here or really fast Wee. That's about as fast as it goes right now. Um, I mean, it's neat, you know, I've got the shader work and I'm kind of happy with that. And I'm brand new to all this. Uh, but, um, you know, the function of, you know, trying to actually get a, a character to stay fixed is going to be my next uh, next big thing. Now, I like this, this effect down here, but it's not random. And I'm trying to get more of a a random effect. That's just one texture just doing the same thing over and over again and you can see the edges pretty clearly and you know it just it doesn't look good. Now the effect that I'm looking for like this right here you know looks a hell of a lot better. If you can see you know just in slow motion but as as I said the characters all change at every moment. So every pass that it's doing it changes the character that's just not fun. So I've got to figure out a way to uh, to get those characters to remain fixed, and and also the other thing I want to do is be able to apply um, the same texture and uh, with different speeds and different uh, different settings for the scale. So that wall can over there have a different scale than this cube, than that floor, um, a lot like that uh, the original thing that I, that I displayed in the. Uh, the original scene so in any case let me get back to it that's about it for now I'm just trudging along until I can actually find my OBS where'd it go there we are so and like I said if you take a look at this I mean it's not moving but eh, it appears like it actually might be the same size all the way around. So I might not have to worry about scale, but I'm definitely going to have to worry about density because if you can see 
off to the right there's a little window um, the little sign up above the density up there it's gonna take some plan quite a bit of plan to get that shader to work like I want it to but like it does on the screen that's kind of my challenge to myself is getting it to work like that so anyways thought I'd share